Okay, this presentation is more to discuss the assignment for this week. Uh, I'll discuss the actual concepts of competitive advantage in much greater detail in the other presentation that's listed on here. So, just a couple of reminders. If you are not yet using the chat feature, please do. Not just to talk to me, but to talk to each other. And if you are not using the study groups that I set up to help you with all of your writing you're having to do in this class, you really should. That's a wonderful place to do that and a good place to collaborate. So, this week we have an assignment that asks you to go out and talk to a local business. So, just to go over this quickly, you will need to visit a local business. I would pick one that you're familiar with and talk to an, empl talk to an employee. Yes, it's okay if you just find your best friend who works at a local company. That's just fine. Just find somebody who's willing to talk about the actual business of the company. Okay? Um, so, you don't have to talk to a business owner, though it probably would be interesting if you could, um, just for the level of perspective. But it'd be interesting to see what an employee had to say as well. What, and you want to ask the employee what the competitive company's competitive advantages are. If they say, I don't know, ask more questions. You might have to explain. Say, what is it that you guys do that's different than everybody else? Okay, think of, when I try to visualize what I mean by competitive advantage, think about um, classic tale called the Wild. We have, it's a Jack London book, I read when I was a kid, where it's a story of a dog who gets basically kidnapped and taken up to Alaska to work as a sled dog. Okay, and there's all these situations where like, they put the food out first and then kind of unleash all the dogs. Okay, so think of like each dog has their own bowl full of food and they just kind of unleash them and they all go fight their way there and they try and eat as fast as they can and then they fight over what's left and it's this big melee. It's an interesting scene. Um, but think of each company as one of those dogs. Okay, they're running out, grabbing what's theirs and then fighting to keep a hold of it. All right, and the only way they can do that is by being slightly different than the dog around them, okay, to where there's some reason that, that the dog next to you isn't going to take yours, okay, you're a little bit bigger, a little bit faster, a little bit something, and plus the fact that not every business can be in every industry, so they're doing something to keep them not worried about your, what you've latched onto as your food, okay, I hope that helps. It's kind of a weird image, but think of it as there's some reason that that company is still in business. There's a whole bunch that have died in whatever industry you want to look at. Why is that one still there? Is their customer service better? Is their location better? Is their food a little bit better? Is there, what is it? Fresher. I mean, what is it that they do that's different? And you might have to prompt them a little bit and say, well, what do you guys do that's different? Nothing. Yes, you do. You got something that you're doing that's different, what is it? You know, between you and whatever your closest competitor is, what do you do better? Oh, well, we do this a little bit faster. Okay, there's your competitive advantage. Okay, so you're gonna ask that, ask them about that, uh, follow, use some follow-up questions, then use some of your own research. Okay, so you can talk to them first or second, doesn't matter. Do your own research on that company, talk to the employee, and then write me a paper detailing what the competitive advantages are of that chosen company. Okay, should be two to three pages. I'm happy with two. I'm happy with three. I'm not happy with one or ten. Two to three pages. Type double spaced APA format, and I'll be grading you based on this stuff right down here. Um, the way to to get a really good grade on this paper is to be genuine about it. Find a company you're even slightly interested in. Do some good research on what they do. Have a good conversation with an employee, preferably er earlier in the week, and then write your paper. Now, that will get you to a B-plus paper. The difference between a B-plus paper and an A paper is revising and proofreading. Now, best way to do that, talk to your study group, talk to a friend, a family member, a significant other, a spouse, and have them look it over for you as well. The more help you can get, the more eyes you can get looking at your paper and telling you, hey, did you mean to say this? When you might not have meant to say that, or that's what's helpful. Okay, that's the difference between a B plus and an A paper. And I'd rather see all A papers. It makes my life a little bit easier. It's easier to give 100% than to go in and have to mark all the different mistakes. <laughs> So, you can help everyone by doing a really good job on this paper. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you for watching this presentation.